Uh, Winnipeg is my hometown. The, the family that used to be so large has diminished over the years, but there's still a, f a few of them that are very, very close to me. I have a close relationship with, with some of my, my cousins there. So that's what I miss. As for Canada itself, you have to realize that Canada for me was a rough time. Uh, I had rough youth. I was very ill. I was in a family that had absolutely no... Uh, we, had, we, had, we had nothing. My father had a little butcher shop. We all worked in it. We all worked. I was a delivery boy. All through school, I went through college. I worked at a clothing store. I mean, it was a rough period of time. And then we got to Toronto and working, trying to get a, a show and getting a show, losing a show, uh, having a whole year of no shows at all on television. So Canada for me was a very, very tough crucible. But it hardened me. It was a tough crucible, but it hardened me. So when I think of Canada, I think of the tough times. And yet, with all the tough times and the disappointments, not getting into medical school, not getting a job, uh, losing a job, getting a job, and so on. And yet, in the Olympic Games comes along, and Canada's playing the United States in the finals, and who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for Canada. And... Uh, because you, you can't, well, what is the old expression? You can take Winnipeg, you can take the boy out of Winnipeg, you can't take Winnipeg out of the boy. You can't take Winnipeg out of this boy. Uh, so there's this fondness of where you were brought up. It's a nostalgia. It's a feeling of your roots where you started. Reliving the moments, good and bad. You can't dismiss that. that that's part of your makeup. And uh, then, of course, I, I came to the United States, which has been so good to me. Uh, so I love this country, and I love that country. And uh, so I love my wife, and I love my mistress. 